Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install and configure Hadoop on Windows. First of all, before installing Hadoop, you need to install the Java framework. So go to Java site and click the, click on this link and install the Windows framework for you. Accept their condition and click on download button. It will redirect you towards the sign up page. So just simply sign up and download the Java framework from here. After this, go to Hadoop site and download the binary download and go to binary download link and click on this link to download the Hadoop. I just in installed the both of the files. So let's begin. First, you need to install the JDK Java framework. Click on yes, click on next, and your installation will be started. Then again, next, and your installation will be started. You just need to wait for a few moments here. After this, click on next again and just wait for a few moments more. Then the Java framework will be ready for you for installing the Hadoop. You just need to wait a little more. After this, close this and go to your C drive. Click on Windows and create a new folder named Java. Then go to program files. In program files, go to Java and copy the JDK folder. And paste in your new Java folder. Grant the permission. Now we need to configure the variables for Java. For this, you need to go to your system settings. Settings. Then you need to search here environment variables. Then click on environment variable and create a new variable named Java. Java underscore home. then go to your java folder jdk and bin and copy the location and paste it here and click on save after this go to system variables click on path click on edit and enter a new location java here you java your java framework installed for checking if it if it is working or not go to your command prompt and simply type here java c so here we can see our java is running after this you need to install the hadoop go to hadoop folder which you inst recently installed and extract all the files from here to your C drive, I have already extracted. Here is the folder. Rename it to Hadoop. We need a bit changing in bin folder because there are some files are missing. So I have provided a downloading of full bin files of Hadoop. So you can simply download and change the replace that files with this bin. Extract this folder here go into this folder there's a bin folder in here copy that bin folder again go into hadoop and delete the default folder of bin paste the new one and you are good to go after this create a new folder here name data and inside the data folder you need to create two new folders data node and the another one name node 
now we need to edit some files go to etc and hadoop and we need to configure some files before using hadoop we need to configure some five files in total the first file is core core slice site file and the second file is map reduce third file is stfs site and the fourth file is yarn site and the fifth one is hadoop env so i just open all the files in my text editor and i will provide to you their configurations so you can easily configure them first of all we need to configure core site copy this code and paste it to core configurations and save it after that you need to copy the htfs code and paste here for configuring the htfs file it's already go it's done too after that you need to copy the yarn code and paste into the configuration and save this after that the last code is map reduce cut that and paste into map reduce file and save it now we need to configure the variables for hadoop but before that we need to configure a path <coughs> for hadoop so just simply go to your java folder jdk and copy the path and paste it here that's it we have done all the configuration and we just only need to set the environment variables for hadoop now again go to system settings search here environment edit the system environment variables go to environment variables click on new create a new variable hadoop underscore home go to your hadoop folder then go to bin and copy the link copy the path and paste it here after that click on the path click on edit and paste a new path hadoop bin then you need to configure another path which is sbin go to the sbin folder of hadoop and copy this path and click on new and paste the path and click ok so your hadoop is configured now for checking it it's running or not go to cmd simply type h d f s in small letters h d f s space name node hyphen format and let's see now our files is running it means our hadoop is installed so we have configured the hadoop and java and it's ready to work now we need to run a word count example in hadoop first of all we need to create a file in our local drive c test file with some dummy data then we'll go to our cmd in our cmd first we'll check our hadoop is working or not so for this we'll go into hadoop directory cd c colon backslash hadoop so we are in hadoop after this we have to run our spin diamond to see if it's working or not so here we can see our spin diamond is working after that we have to check our yarn is working or not so paste that command and yes our yarn is working also so after this you just simply need to made a bin directory a made an input directory for in get for giving the input to the map reduce hadoop 
and after that you need to copy this code after copying this code you need to run this line this command line and your hadoop word count example will run and will show the show you the desired word count of which you are searching like this so thanks for watching allah fiz